Hello everyone. <coughs> I am Mohammad Arifu Jaman, working as a professor in the Department of Genetics and Plant Breeding, Haji Mohammad Daniel Science and Technology University, Dhanaspur, Bangladesh. Today I'm gonna to show you how we can manage our research data in MS Excel spreadsheet and how we can import this data in R Studio. So for this, we need to go to the MS Excel sheet first. So I am sharing my screen. Okay. So in this case, I have a data. Okay, let me go forward. Analysis and then R Studio and then data. Okay, there's so many files. So I will show you one first. This is CRD geo five. Okay. In this case. We can see that okay, I am increasing it a little bit more. In the research, what we do, just we take some varieties. We can write it as genotype or alternatively, we can write it as treatment. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven genotypes are used. And then grain yield are counted here on plant basis, plant one, plant two, plant three, plant four. Normally, we make our spreadsheet and we incorporate our raw data from our paper to data in the spreadsheet like this way. But when we go for analysis so the computer will not decode this data so then what we need to do we need to convert this data or NSD data in a separate way so i am showing this Okay, I need to increase this a little bit more. Okay. You see, I had six genotypes. Sorry, seven genotypes. And then I had four plants. Then four multiplied by seven, it's come as 28. Then 28 data you can see here. So it's a CRD experiment. It has no replication. That's why we put this data in this way. Okay. Now I will show how we can arrange our data on. Uh, Microsoft Excel sheet for RCVT. Okay, let me show this. I am increasing it. Okay. In, for example, randomized complete block design, so it's a field data. Here, the genotypes are listed here. The genotypes are numbered here three times. 1508, 1508, 1508. And then this replication R1, R2, R3. And then data are taken as it is shown here. One important thing is that 
you can't write it as a full if you write in a full you should not give in space because in r it creates a problem for example ln this means leaf number dm days to maturity okay so now i will show you how we can import this data set in r i can save it as csv format or i can save it at excel okay it's like rc b d one okay you see excel workbook then i'm saving this okay excel rcbd one so this data i saved and now i will show you how i can import this data on r studio simply uh, i can open my r studio from a tax bar r studio okay it's here okay First time you can see uh, three windows here. If you need to work, then you need to increase it. How it's? So you need to go to the file and then new file, R script. Then you can get four windows here. Okay, the first one is the script and the second one is the console. The third one is the environment history connection and the last one is the files, plots, package, help, viewer, etc. Okay, so how I told you earlier that I will show you how I can import this data. So then what you need to do, you need to go the environment. Here you can find the import data set. You can click this and you can find some options like from text from text reader from excel spss format sas data format okay so our data we saved it as excel then we need to select this one then the browse comes browse comes and then i will select my folder i will take this data and then data so i saved it at rcbd one and then i take this and then okay you can find this in this way you can find double you can find uh, genotype as double replication as character ff as double 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 okay i'm going to explain this so genotype actually it's a character so why it's a double comes actually this numerical value so that's why and then character when uh, there is no numerical value there is some alphabetic it takes as character actually character is a factor uh, we uh, denote the genotype as also factor and then they said like in this way so why double comes so double comes so when there is a integral value like five and then single or numeric appeared the numeric value also appeared as double when there is uh, 5.8 4.8 5.6 like this so you have an option to give a uh, full stop or a decimal uh, way you can arrange your data okay 
okay then import data has been imported in the console you can see the data already taken as rcbd1 then you can go and you can make analysis in the next video i will show you how we can analyze the rcbd data okay so stay well stay healthy so see you one next time bye bye